And hello everyone, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. We're going to be heading up to Death Mountain today, chaps. That's what we're going to do. Now that we've used the letter from Zelda, we can pass through this gate and we're going to head to the village of the Gorons. But first, but first, do, do you hear something? I hear a Sculptula. Yep, there's one over here and I didn't even realize. I can't believe I left off the last video and I was like so close to this dude and I didn't even, didn't even know he existed. But there we go. Another uh, Sculptula token in the bag. Get some health. And yeah, we're going to head up Death Mountain now. Uh, we haven't, well, then again, we haven't really explored all of Kakariko. We didn't talk to everyone. But I think we spoke to everyone who's important at this point. At least from what my memory serves me. So I, I don't know. There's probably stuff I've missed. But anyway. Death Mountain. No passage without a royal decree. Well, that's a bloody good job. We got one then, innit? Off we go. Death Mountain Trail. Uh, it looks like there's going to be uh, going to be a couple of enemies on the way. Don't know what these things are called exactly, but they're annoying. You little shits. Yeah, I don't like these things. I think we're probably just going to try and run past them. There's a bombable wall on the right there, I think. Ah, da da da. Ooh. You little sod. Ah, our first Goron. Let's have a chat to him. I am one of the Gorons, the stone eating people who live on Death Mountain. Look at that huge boulder over there. It blocks the entrance to the Dodongo's Cavern, which was once a very important place for us Gorons. But one day, many Dodongos suddenly appeared inside the cavern. Well, gee, I wonder why it's called that then, hmm? It became a very dangerous place. On top of that, a Gerudo in black armor, oh, I wonder who that could be, used his magic to seal the entrance with that boulder. If you want to hear more Goron gossip, head up to our city. Goron City is just a little way up the trail. It won't take much longer to get there, even on foot. Well, okay then, so how are we going to get past this boulder then? And morning has arrived and I'm still being chased by those goddamn things. I don't know what the hell they are. And it's been a while since we've had an area with a bit of music. But I just... Oh, this mountain is home to some very nice views. Oh, we've got a flag blowing up here. Another Goron dude. Hello. The Gorons are so nice. They say that a beautiful fairy lives on top of Death Mountain. Don't you want to see her? Yeah, the fairies in this game are not what I would call beautiful, but then again, beauty is in the eye of the of the beholder. Oh look, you see Kakariko! <laughs> nice. So there's two paths here. I think this if we go right, that's the way we're supposed to go. To Goron City, yes. But I'm not really certain. What happens if we try going up here? Oh, there's rocks in the way, that's what we yeah, we can't go this way yet. Okay. Oh my god! Where the hell did you come from, dude? What the hell? Can I talk to you? Excuse me. You hurt me, dude. I, I demand an apology. I wish I could roll down the mountain like a rock with a bomb flower and... Boom! If I could do that with a bomb flower, I could become a real man. Okay, no, no need then, no, no apology. Whatever. What a dick. <laughs> he came out of nowhere. But yeah, it's actually, uh, oh, another bombable wall. Uh, it's actually, oh, very late for me. I don't usually record this late at all. It's like half past 11 at night, but I just couldn't stay away from this game. I am having so much fun. Oh, nice camera angle. Right up his ass. I'm standing here to shade the bomb flowers from the sun. Do you have a question for me? Uh, 
Well, we'll ask about don um, the bomb flowers. Those plants growing over there are bomb flowers. They are mining plants that grow only on this mountain. They usually grow in dark, uh, only grow in dark places like caves. So bomb flowers like, that grow in a place like this are extremely rare. I've also just eaten a, an entire bag of popcorn for myself. I'm a fat bastard this uh, today. Just oh. Uh, if you have the Gorons bracelet, even a little kid like you could easily pick it with A. Ah, we need a Gorons bracelet then, don't we? Otherwise, we ain't shifting these things. Imagine that though. Just, just bombs that grew like plants. That would be crazy. Ooh. This looks like a suspicious location. Doesn't it? Almost like an altar of some kind. And, uh... Oh, some health. I don't think the Gorons would appreciate me smashing all of their lovely rocks. Considering they, uh, eat them. I mean, Christ. Ha! <laughs> oh, can you imagine? They must have the strongest teeth in the world. But here we are! We've made it to Goron City. Bit of a... Kind of a huge place, actually. Oh, I'm so hungry. Everyone feels faint from hunger because of the food shortage in this town. We are in danger of extinction. It's all because we can't enter our quarry, the Dodongo's Cavern. We Gorons live on a diet of rocks. And the most delicious and nutritious rocks around are found in Dodongo's Cavern. But that seems like ancient history now. We've become such gourmets that we can't stand to eat rocks from anywhere else. Well, that's your own bloody fault, then. If you're going to go extinct, I think I would suffer a slightly lesser quality of rock. Just, you know, to keep living. Jeez. I mean, I'm a picky eater. I really am. But come on. If it's life or death, I want to eat the top sirloin rocks from the Dodongo's cabin. Well, tough shit, mate. Tough shit. Oh, look at it. look at all this place. Look, there's big rocks here. Can you not eat these? <clears throat> they're in my way. Can you not eat them for me? I guess they're not uh, not too tasty. Right. So I'm trying to think what we do first here. We can go around. Oh, look. Look at the size of that dude. Oh, my God. Yeah, we want to steer clear from him. Oh, my Lord. Oh, more bomb flowers. I like the music in here. It's cool. Right. Oh, no. Ooh, I nearly, nearly fell to my doom. Hello. Oh, another amazing camera angle. Wow, we're getting so lucky with these. It's dangerous for a little kid like you to come out here. You, you might fall down. I know, I nearly did. If I'm not mistaken, you can, uh, you came out here to eat the red stone. Well, too bad it's not here. Red, red stone? I actually do need uh, a stone, but I wouldn't want to eat it. What? That's not why you're here? You're looking for a spiritual stone. You must mean that delicious looking red stone that was once displayed here. Uh, I was so hungry that I thought it would be okay to just give it one tiny little lick. <clears throat> right, okay. So I snuck out here, but it was already gone. I think Big Brother took it away. Who's Big Brother? Uh, he's always say he always says that everyone is after that red stone. Big Brother has shut himself up in his room, saying, "I will wait in here for the royal family's messenger." Well, gee, if that ain't the biggest clue ever, I don't know what is. I don't know what is. All right, so if we want to go chat to the big cheese around here, we have to jump down. Oh yeah, no damage for me. Yeah, he's actually behind this door, and we have to play Zelda's Lullaby, which I don't remember. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you guessed right. Cool. Do, 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 do. Sweet, so now we can go chat to the leader of the Gorons. Have you got to say, pal? I'm so hungry that I can't think about anything but food. Ask Big Brother about complicated things. If he's in a bad mood, he'll probably get mad at you. It can be pretty scary, but I know his secret. He may not look like the type, but Big Brother loves to dance. 
if he gets in a rhythm, he'll surely... I remember Big Brother used to always listen to the music that comes from the forest. Another super big clue. Ah yes, the good old days. That music makes me feel nostalgic too. When all the torches on this floor are lit, Goron City is really lively. Another clue as to what we can do here. Uh, bomb of a wall. Yeah, these torches. We need to find a, a flame. In fact, let's equip our Deku sticks. We don't need that letter anymore, I don't think. I can't remember if you need that letter again, really. In the entire game? Not got a clue. Hey, who's this guy? He looks pretty impressive. What the heck? Who are you? When I heard the song of the royal family, I expected their messenger had arrived. But you're just a little kid. Has Darunia, the big boss of the Gorons, really lost so much status to be treated like this by his sworn brother, the king? Now I'm really angry. Get out of my face now. Are you asking why I'm in such a bad mood right now? Ancient creatures have infested Dodongo's cavern. Again, I don't know what voice this dude has now. <laughs> uh, we've had such a poor harvest. Our special crop bomb flowers. Starvation and hunger because of the rock shortage. But this is a Goron problem. We don't need any help from strangers. They are a very proud people. Or at least he is. But you know what? We can soften him up. Because we just happen to have a piece of music from the forest. And they actually give you Deku sticks in here too. That's good. Oh, you know what? We'll do... Yeah, actually, yeah, you know what? We'll do this first. Right, so we'll stand in front of him. And... I need to remember what Saria's song is. I think that's it. Yeah! Oh, he's gonna go crazy. <laughs> Look at him. Oh my god. Talk about getting your rocks off. He's enjoying himself here. Look at him. Oh. Oh, oh. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Hot. What a hot beat. I actually just... <laughs> anyone seen Breaking Bad? I just had... Freaking two of Salamanca going tight, tight in my head. <laughs> Yahoo! Oh, hey, what a nice tune. Just like that, my depression is all gone. Something just came over me. I suddenly wanted to dance like crazy. I am Darunia. I am the big boss of the Gorons. Was there something you wanted to ask me about? Well, actually, yes. You want the spiritual stone of fire, too? The spiritual stone of fire, also known as the Goron's Ruby, is our race's hidden treasure. But hold on, I'm not going to give it to you that easily. If you want it so badly, why don't you go destroy the monsters inside of Dodongo's cavern and prove you're a real man? Oh, really? You're going to send a little kid off to do that? Ah, uh, that way everybody will be happy again. If you do it, I will give you anything you want, even the spiritual stone. I have something for you. Uh, I'm not really giving you this in return for anything, but take it anyway. Okay. I've just realized, look, look, 007. Da -na, da -na, da -na, da -na. We got seven rupees. Uh, if you wear this, even a little fella like you can pick up bomb, bomb flowers. Da -na -na -na. Yes. All right, bomb flowers are now usable. And we are going to use the shit out of them very soon. But first, we shall light the torch of... Destiny and light up more of these things. There we go. If we get all of these lit. Hopefully the stick doesn't burn up. There we go. I don't know why Link rotates like this. How weird is that? Why does he do that? Now that we've set this giant vase, Goron spinning round, we can do something with him soon. Um, we can't pick these bomb flowers up, I don't think. No. That's annoying. Can we not knock them down? No, okay. We're going to have to find somewhere else then. 
More deck of sticks. Oh? We don't get many visitors way up here. Where are you from? The forest? What's a forest? <laughs> hey? It's where a lot of trees and plants grow? Now I'm even more confused. Nothing grows around here besides the bomb flowers. We don't have seeds or nuts around here either. No, you just got rocks. All this game is is innuendo for testicles. That's all it is. Uh, I know a trick to conserve sticks. If you light a stick on fire, it will burn to ashes. Press A to put it away before it... Yeah, I know, I know that. I just can't be bothered. We've got tons of them anyway. Alright, so... We actually need to throw a bomb flower inside that spinning vase thing to get a nice reward. Ooh. Here we go. Let's see if we can do this first try. Probably not. Ah! God damn it. Too far away. We will do this. You bet your ass we're gonna do this. Ooh, he's too far away. You idiot! Why did you jump? Why did you jump off Link? You prune. God damn it. In fact, I reckon we can get that bombable wall just below here if we jump down. Might do that first. Unless he's really close to the side this time. Go on. Yes! Now it needs to land on a certain face and a certain side to get the best reward. Ah, oh, shit. Really? A few freaking rupees. Not even worth my time. Right. Let's uh, see if we can bomb this wall before the bomb explodes. Yay, we did it. We injured ourselves in the process, but where does this take us? Oh, it's a shop. Oh. Dude, dude, look at him. He looks so tired and just, like, bored shitless. Um, let's talk to the owner. Are you going to clear out the Dodongos? It's a Goron problem, though. You're a nosy little kid, aren't you? Hey, I'm trying to help out. Of course, we'll be happy if you fix it so we can get all the bombs we want, like we used to. Just let me warn you, though. Dodongos are scary creatures. They'll eat anything. So watch yourself. Don't get eaten. Okay. Ooh, wow. The Goron tunic. That would be really nice to get, actually. Although we can't wear it as a kid. Hmm. Red potion, life energy, some recovery hearts, and bombs that we can't carry. Okay, well at least we know that this thing's here now. Right, let's go continue our quest to throw a bomb flower inside that damn thing and hopefully get lucky this time. Doodly doo. Oh. I love the Gorons. Look look at the paintings on the wall as well. So cool. Even if some of them are a little bit of a dick, like the one that rolled into us on our way down the mountain. <laughs> Up the mountain, I should say. That was a rubbish throw. Hey, listen! Shut up, Navi. Yeah, we're gonna do it this time. Ooh. What a throw! Come on, come on, we need all smiles. Big, big cheesy grins, come on. Are you fucking kidding me? Twice in a row? Come on. Don't be like that. Alright, he's, oh, he's too far away. Ooh, nearly. Nearly got it. Come on, I really don't want to have to do this like a million times. Yeah, oh, just about. Come on, come on, big smile. <coughs> smile for the birdie. Yeah, piece of heart, baby. And some rupees. Yay. All right, we just need one more. We get another heart container. Whoop, whoop. Good stuff. Right. 
Uh, oh, I think actually, isn't there some torches on this second level? If we go up here and to the right, I think there is. Yeah. And if you go through here, you can hear the sound of the forest. So that's where they hear this music. If we pick up a bomb flower, we can create a nice shortcut. Doo -doo. Yep, so we can now shoot straight back to the Lost Woods. How cool is that? Pretty freaking cool, I think you'll find. Also, uh, in the last video, I did completely forget, you know, when we went down in that grave and there was that re-dead just stood there. I could have played the Sun Song and it would have frozen him. So, I don't know why I didn't think to do that, because I'm an idiot, probably, but... We'll do that at some point. Let's go down and see if we can light these torches. Something might happen, I don't know. It's worth a try, innit? Get more Deku Stick. And run. Shut up, Navi. Oh. Oh? So what does that do, then? How is Big Brother? I see. By the way, do you know the music coming from the deep, uh, from deep inside of the tunnel? We all like this music. Ah, so that's another clue that you've got to play Saria's song. Okay. Uh, I thought maybe it said... Well, it sounded like something happened when I lit the torches, but I don't... I don't know what it was. Are there any more torches about? Hang on, that's going down. That's going down. Oh wait, no, this is going up. Um, any more torches? Oh, bomb flowers and the dude rolling about. I think if you manage to stop this guy from rolling around, you get something as well. But I don't know if we can do that yet. Oh, he's just got, he's going around in a circle. Okay, well, let's break up this wall anyway. Bonk it down. There we go. And stand back. Oh, there's two? It's like past the parcel. Uh-oh. Come on, dude. Oh, that'd be good if that exploded. And he's just going by. Ooh, not quite. Not quite. Let's see what's through here. Oh my god, another one? Dear lord. Mm, that should be close enough. Yep. Let me guess. There's another. Oh, there's another one. What a surprise. I swear, guys, we will eventually get to Dodongo's Cavern, which is the second dungeon of the game. Well, I'm not sure if you can do other dungeons. I'm not sure if you can choose which order you do them in. But you're definitely supposed to go do this one first. Come on. Yay! Oh my god! He's huge! Hi there. I'm working on something really cool right now, but I think it's going to take a while. If you can wait five or six years, it should be ready, okay? Well, gee. That's a long-ass time. That is a hell of a long time. But I believe this dude is a blacksmith. And yeah, there's a big... A bit of a... Yeah, a big side quest to do with him. That I will try my best to do. I find it pretty difficult, though. Oh, shit. So yeah, I'm not sure if there's anything else we can do in Goron City right now. There are some areas we've not really explored. Like this way. But I'm guessing we don't have what we need for this one. 
And that is lava. That is very bad. So let's not... Let's not even entertain that right now. We have a mission. We are going to Dodongo's Cavern. Which again is... <coughs> a dungeon. And it's probably going to take a little bit of time to get through. So we just have to retrace our steps. Really. I wonder if there's any uh, Scorchulas around here at night time. Hmm. Might as well just hang around and see if any pop up. For some reason I have a memory of there being something on this, but I guess not. Huh. Oh, we can use this bomb flower now though. I don't know what we use it for. Nope. No, pick it up, throw it. Ah! <laughs> Why didn't you throw it, Link? Whoa. Alright, let's try again. Alright, ready? Throw! And that is how you get into Dongo's cavern. Uh, in fact, can we just jump down there? That would save a bit of time. Can we do this? Oh, come on. Come on. Come on, Link. Ah, oh, really? Can you not jump down there? Son of a bitch. Oh, hang on. No. No, yes we can. Ha ha ha. It's morning already? Holy crap. Oh, you know what? I just, I just freaking saw a piece of heart. It was up there. Oh, I wonder if we can get that, because that would give us six heart containers. Leave me alone. I'm going to try it. <clears throat> Unless we need uh, another item to reach that ledge, but I'm going to give it a go. Do 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 do. Let's give it another shot. In fact, I wonder if we can bomb that wall that we just ran past, or is it too... No, too far away. Oh god. Nah, probably a little bit too far away. <clears throat> right, okay, so let's try... Just can't quite see... Yeah, it is a piece of heart down there. Can we reach it? Come on, Link. Fingers crossed. Yeah! Oh, so close! Damn it. I wonder if that's possible. Also, just thought I'd point out that I think the uh, the map of the area kind of looks like a deformed penis. Uh, anyway, another one of these things. Right, we are entering Dodongo's Cavern, guys. In we go. So, first room, pretty straightforward. Dodongo's Cavern. Righty ho, okay. Where do we go first? Well, we don't have a map just yet. Oh, hi, hi Navi. It looks like there are many lava pits around here, so watch your step. Well, gee, there. I totally wasn't aware of that. What's that thing? Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, laser eye dudes. Uh oh, uh oh. Whoops. There's me scolding Navi for telling me about the lava, and I fall straight in there. Oh well. So we've got a locked door here. Bomb flowers. Ah. So as long as you stay away from the where the eye's facing, you should be okay. Do -do 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 -do. In fact, can I bomb those things? Have that. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, big chest. Do, 
Ah, we have the dungeon map. Excellent. <coughs> Good stuff. Blue chambers are places you have already visited. I know. Coolies. What is over here? Oh, it's a Deku. Come on. Oh, damn it. We need to change our shield. Okay. Let's do that then. No, I didn't want to pause it again. Right, what have you got to say? I give up. If you let me go, I will sell you a Deku shield. For 50 rupees? Sod off. I've already got one anyway. No way. Yikes. I'm going home then. Uh-huh. Funny thing is, if you go back to them, they'll just keep on trying to attack you again. Oh, wait. No, he's actually disappeared. Okay. Right, uh, I guess we gotta go over the other side then. Look at this, look, look at that thing. That's kind of terrifying. Isn't it? Oh yeah, we got two bombable walls over there. Okay then. Ooh, creepy noises. Ooh, nearly didn't make that. Please don't laser me. Ooh. Not a problem. Not a problem. In fact, have a bomb. Right, come on, bomb flower. It's a good job they grow so fast, isn't it? Ooh, right. So I think that's probably going to lead to another room. This one up. So eventually you do get uh, a bomb bag which you can carry bombs, so you don't need to rely on bomb flowers. Huh. Is that really all that's in here? Hmm. Can I climb up here or not? No, it's a little bit too high. So the only way we can go is this way. Oh, yeah. These little buggers. Ouch. You know what I might do? Might re-equip my Hylian shield. Because it's highly unlikely that I will need anything else. I, I don't know. Just trying to make a joke. Right. Ooh, I think, yeah, they explode when they die. That's what that is. They freaking explode. Ooh, come over here. Come over here, Mr. Dodongo. Where have you gone? Come over here. That's it, that's it. Right. Blow up and blow up the hole in that wall. Yes. Alright, what's up here? Oh, in fact, any hearts? Nope, just rupees. Kinda need some health. What are those? Ooh, they don't look very safe. Okay. Oh! Maybe we have to push one of these on top of that. Yes! Alrighty then. We shall do this. Aha! We outsmarted the cavern. But first I'm going to check out this other door. Ugh, those creepy noises. What is in here? Just a torch? Oh, it's a sculptula. And a bunch of bats. There we go. Kill you dicks. Don't want to play with you right now. There we go. And health. Oh, shit. Come on. Let's get your sword out. 
Oh, come on, grab it. Hooray. <laughs> Sometimes you got to be a little bit creative when you're trying to pick those up. Right, is that all there was in this room? Well, maybe so. Oh, leave me alone, Dodongos. Or whatever the hell you are. Oh, it reset it? You son of a bitch. Alright. Mental notes. Don't leave rooms if you want to keep your progress. Come on. Push it. Push it real good, Link. Do 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 More goddamn bats. Can I just ignore them? Ouch. Give me a little shit. Ooh, hearts. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, God, what the hell are those? Th oh, no. Shit. Maybe I should lock on. Ah! I'm just cowering in fear. I love it. Ooh, you little jumpy bastard. Oh, and he's running off. What a coward. Oh, is the other one coming? Come and fight me like a man. Or a lizard. Lava lizard. He is running. Oh, hello. Come on. Yeah. He's running off too. What a bunch of pansies. Come on, fight me. Fight me. I'm trying to lock on. Come on, die. Yes, one down. Where's your friend? Come on. Aha. Ooh, you little shit. You got a hit on me. Well played, sir. Alright, that wasn't too bad. But yeah, if we fell in the lava with our Deku shield, I think it might burn up. Right, cool. So, which door did we actually come in? I don't remember. I think we came in this one, didn't we? Oh no, I don't know actually. Shit. Let's, let's actually consult the map good and proper. Wherever it is. Alright. So yeah, we're in there. Can I look at the map? Any closer than that? No? Okay then. Yeah, pretty, uh, pretty basic map system. Ah. This looks a lot cooler in here. Oh, hello. Ba-bum, ba-bum. Walk you down. Run away. Do-do-do-do-do. Oh, another freaking Deku. So you can't reflect them with this shield, can you? That sucks. I bet it's something crappy as well. I bet it's like, oh, I can sell you some nuts if you want when I've already got 20 of them. Where's my goddamn Deku shield? There we go. Come on. Alright, I'll back off a little bit. What are you what are you gonna sell me? You win in return, I will sell you Deku sticks. I don't fucking need them. No way. Yeah, you you fuck off home then. Making me change my shield. Right, is there anything else in here? Is that it? Was that all that room was supposed to be? Okay, fine. Fine. I mean, you can use Deku Sticks to attack enemies. They can be pretty powerful, I think, but... I can never never be bothered. Ooh, hello. You look a little bit... Uh, dangerous. What do I do with you? Oh, you've got a friend. 
Ah, we've got some torches we'll probably have to light. Which is why you can probably buy the Deku sticks. Ah, yeah, I bet that opens the door. Oh, I bet you that's what we have to do. Let's get our Deku stick out. And get light in. Need a light, mate. Whoa. I don't think they like this fire too much. Yeah! So I don't have to kill them. Good. Bye-bye, then. Put your stick away. There we go. Ooh. I wonder if that's timed. Is that going to be timed? So obviously we're back in the first room now. Is that going to be timed? I don't think it is. I don't hear any time thing, you know, the weird noise. So I think we're good. Let's jump across. Oh, the d laser dude didn't even see us. Awesome. And what do. Oh, a shit ton of bomb flowers. Holy balls, that's a lot of bomb flowers. Alright, we can bomb that. What else is there in here? Not much from what I can see. That is a lot of bomb flowers. Do 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 do. Alright, so a door. Not much else in here, really, is there? Hmm. I wonder what happens if you explode all of those bomb flowers at once. Let's pop you down here. Just see what happens. Shut up, Navi. Chain reaction, baby. Oh, it does do something. It was way too suspicious. It had to. I'm glad it I'm glad we uh we tried that. Now the question is, do I go through this door? Or do we climb up the staircase and see what's up here? Oh, with great effort. Oh, Link's only tiny. Reminds me of my niece, uh, my niece, little niece, climbing the stairs. The stairs are so big compared to her, it's amazing she does it. Ooh, red rupee. Uh, I hear a sculptula. Oh, wait, no, it's just the normal one, though. Oh, wait, no, there is a golden one, though. Can I get that one? Can I get it? Can I oh, yes, I can. Good stuff. Do -do -do -do. You obtained a gold sculptula. Nice. Ooh, a door here, too. Oh, I kind of want to see where that other door goes, though. Screw it. Ah! <laughs> Let's see where this takes us. Ah, oh, shit. Ooh. Ooh, this doesn't look good. What do I do with these things? Oh, God! They're alive! Go back over towards the bomb. Oh, shit! Oh, we did it! Alright, that wasn't too bad. Ooh, big chest! What's it gonna be? Oh, it's the compass. Alright. I thought it would be something amazing, but no. Oh well, now you can see the locations of many hidden things in the dungeon. I mean, that is really useful to have, but this dungeon isn't that big. So, let's see. 
So we've got 13 Sculptulas. Ah. All right, actually, the compass is useful. Because now we can see more of the, the actual dungeon itself. Okay. Right, back up the stairs we go. It's going to take forever. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, we made it. Cool. Rupees. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's a good job we did get the adult wallet, otherwise we'd uh, we'd be losing those. And the more rupees I have, the better, really, for uh, some of the mini games I want to do back in Castle Town. Oh god, fire keys. Uh oh, and more of these things, which are totally going to come alive. This could be tricky. No, oh, pick it up. Oh shit! Oh god, I'm on fire. I don't know if that's gonna work. No, that's not. A... I'm gonna have to actually move that one, aren't I? Right, let's see if I can uh, lock on to. Ow! Alright, lock on to you. Oh, you little shit! Have that. I wasn't even aiming for that one. Sweet. Right, let's try this again. Now that we don't have the bloody bats to worry about. Ooh, right, so he's going to chase me. Just need to do what I did before. Come over here. That's it. No, don't go away. God damn it. I think you just need to bomb him twice. Alright. Let's see if we can do this quickly. Stay near the bomb. Stay near the bomb. That didn't work. That didn't hit him. Right. Stay there. No, don't go back, you little shit. You little bastard. Oh my god, this could take a while. I mean, I'm guessing I have to. This is what I have to do. That's what I had to do last time. Oh god, I'm pissed off. Whoa! Oh god, run away, run away! Right. So we do have to kill all these then. Can I not. Oh wait, I can just move this. And then there's a switch. What does this do? Oh, it opens the door. So what is the point? I wonder what happens if I kill all of them. I mean, my health isn't looking great, though. Oh, I want you to throw it, Link. Alright, come on. Yes! Hearts, beautiful hearts. Can I can I kill this one? Let's see. Oh, I may have overthrown that. Whoops. Let's see if you take damage. No, you don't. Okay, then. I'm guessing you don't get anything for killing those guys. All right, then. We'll, we'll move on. This is Snake, telling you to subscribe to Mage Masher 22 on YouTube and Twitch. Snake out.